Hey, what's up guys, this is Marcos, and today we're gonna take a look at how to color correct and color grade just using the color curves inside of the new Final Cut Pro X 10.4 update. So without further ado, let's jump over to the computer and show you how to do that. All right, so here we have our two video clips. We're gonna be color correcting this and also exposing them just using the color curves. If you wanna learn how to do this exact same thing by using color wheels, which I think it's much easier, there's a, a video card here that you can click on to look at that video, okay? Let's start with opening up our scopes, Command 7 to open up the scopes, and I wanna change this over to waveform RGB parade. It just makes it easier to color correct uh, this image because both of these are looking a little bit blue and we're gonna correct for those. So, okay, let's bring up our effects and drop in the color curves to our first video clip. Let's see, let's hit this right here. And you can see there's four curves. There's uh, Luma, the red, the green, and the blue, which correspond to this. And I like to start by first exposing this image correctly. Actually, let's switch over back to the Luma. And it seems everything's between zero and, and 100 IRE, which is pretty good. I can bring down the highlights just slightly because this is above 100 IRE. So I think that's looking much better. I brought down the highlights. And then this look, the the shadow side, which is the street, it's looking a little bit too dark. So I can always bring up the, the shadows just like this, just slightly, not too much. Um, it's up to you. So color grading is a lot about uh, you know, what you like, what you prefer. So this is what I prefer. Uh, the next thing is let's now affect the overall temperature of this image, because to me, it's looking a little bit too blue. So I'm going to bring up the RGB parade and I'm going to bring down the highlights or the saturation. Actually, I'm removing blue from the highlights. That's, and the way to do that is by taking this blue, which this is the highlights up top and I'll drag this down. And you see now the blues are sitting below 100 IRE. The, the, this is a highlights, which is basically the sky. And now the next thing I wanna do is also bring it down for the red, which is this building right here. It's too saturated. I'm gonna remove some red by dragging over the highlights as well. And I think that's looking much better. Let's look at what we've done so far. Okay, so this image is looking a little bit more green now. Um, so I can remove a little bit green of the green from the midtones, which is this side right here. I can make a point here. And again, it's a little bit, it, it made it a little bit more blue again, which we can counteract by removing again blue from the street and which is the shadow. So we can drag this over down. And as you can see, it's making the image much warmer and I think it's looking much nicer. So if we check this and then check it, I think this looks much better for me. But again, it's up to you how you want to color grade. I think for me, this is looking much better. You can always remove more green and remove red from the building. It's up to you. So uh, this is basically how you use curves to correct for exposure and color on this image. So let's take a look at another one. This, this one is looking even more blue. So Again, let's drop in the color curves. And first of all, let's take a look at the at the Luma, which is exposure. And as you can see, the highlights are overblown here and it's not quite sitting at zero IRE. So let's do that. Uh, let's bring down the shadows. Let's drag this over the shadows. I think that's good. Now we can bring down the highlights just slightly. There we go. It's looking a little bit darker but that's okay. We can always bring down the midtones just slightly to create like a little bit like an S curve, not quite, but somewhat. Um, and there that creates a little bit more contrast in the image. So let's again, bring up our RGB parade. And again, the highlights look too blue. Actually the whole image looks too blue. So we're going to be removing blue from this image to make it warmer. So bring down the, the blue from the highlights and also from the midtones, or I mean the shadows in the midtones, same time. And as you can see, if we uncheck this, the image is looking much better, um, but there's some green here in these highlights and we're gonna remove green from here by making a point here 
and then dragging over the green channel just to remove some of that green because it looked very unnatural. Now you see it's bringing up the the curves in the green. It's, so it's boosting the greens on the midtones. We don't want that. We want to preserve the midtones so we can make a point here and drag the midtones down in the green channel again here. So I made two points to preserve the the green curve. So it'll it's only affecting the highlights, which is this part right here. Okay, so now we have the red channel. I can bring in warmth to this image by bringing in red to our image. So I'm gonna warm it up a little bit and I'm gonna make a, here a point because I don't want it to affect the sky too much. Just, just here, the midtones. And I think that's looking much better. So if we compare, we warmed up our image and it's looking much nicer. So that's the very basics of how to use color curves to correct for exposure and also remove or add certain color tones to your videos. Uh, guys, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. I'm always reading those and I always answer. So please go ahead and drop them down below. And if you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do so. I'm making videos like this every week. All right. So I'll see you guys on the next video.